Hey everyone, how are you? I hope that you're having a great day. Um, it is nice and sunny here, finally, after the storms last night, so it's really good to see the sunshine and um, feel the warm weather. I hope that it's warm wherever you are. So, yesterday I shared a little bit about my morning routine. Um, I'm going to share a little bit about my evening routine and give you a tip on how to sleep better. If you hear my dog in the background, I really apologize. That is my real life. We have a lot of construction going on in our neighborhood. My dog gets bothered. He tries to get all protective, so he barks a lot. So I apologize. Um, so anyway, my evening routine. Now here, let me back up a little bit and tell you a story. About six years ago, my husband did three months of training in Oklahoma City uh, before he started his new job and I moved with him we were newly married so we didn't want to stay apart so I moved with him and I I was um, jobless for about three months and I did not like to have the same sort of schedule at that time that he did my mind has definitely shifted since then so that's good um, but I liked to be on my phone at night that's right when the height of my Instagram addiction maybe started. <laughs> um, actually, it's when I started forming relationships via the internet. And back when it was kind of taboo about having friends in your phone. And I would just scroll Instagram or Facebook or whatever it may be while my husband slept until I got tired. And so that became a really bad habit for me. I would take my phone to bed and... I didn't really have a routine in the evening and I would just scroll Facebook or Instagram until I got tired or until I made myself shut my phone off. So that became a really bad habit and it has continued and well, right about a year ago when I decided that I maybe shouldn't do that anymore. Um, so I want to share with you my evening routine, what it includes, and give you my one tip for sleeping better. So my morning routine, as I shared yesterday, is very important to me. It helps me stay on track, get on track, get my mind right for the entire day so that I have a good day, that my mindset is in the right place, I have a good attitude. But my evening routine really sets it up for me to have a good morning routine. It just kind of goes in a circle. So I have to do my evening routine in order to have a good morning routine. And I have to do my morning routine in order to have a good day. <laughs> so my evening routine consists of this. About 45 minutes before bed, I start winding down. Um, if you ask my husband, I'm a lot like the Energizer Buddy. I can just go, 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 go. And then when it's time for bed, I'll just crash. And he hates that because he is the type of person who he needs some time to wind down and to get ready for bed. Um, for me, I don't need to be mentally ready for bed. I could go to bed whenever. Um, so 45 minutes beforehand, I lay my workout clothes out so that I know exactly where they are at in the morning. I put them on first thing in the morning so that I have no excuses to get my workout done. It's just a simple reminder to me, I have my workout clothes on, okay. So I lay those out in my bathroom. I lay out my shorts, my top, my sports bra, my socks, and my shoes, so all of it. There's no excuses right there. I also, in the kitchen, on the counter, I will lay out or set out my water bottle and I also do take, um, I drink a pre-workout drink before I work out, about 15 minutes before. So I'll set that out on the counter as well so that I know exactly where it's at in the morning. I can just make it, get it ready, and then we can work out as soon as my husband is out the door. Um, and then I also, I stack my Bible and my personal development book and my journal on the coffee table because I sit on the couch when I do my morning um, quiet time. So I make sure that all of that stuff is laid out. I know where it's at. So when I wake up in the morning, because I'm not a morning person, I can have that right there. I'm ready to go. And I don't have to be scrounging around for stuff. I don't have to be looking for something because I don't know where it's at. It's right there. It's laid out. 
So those are the type of things that I do right before bed. The most important thing that I do that I have finally figured out because I have been a very poor sleeper in the past and it is because of my bad habit of taking my cell phone to bed. I started plugging my phone in because I generally have to charge it at night. I plug it in the bathroom. I lay it on the bathroom counter and that is where it stays. I do not take it to bed. And I will tell you, it has really improved my sleep because the something about the screen, the lights, it makes your brain think that you're still, oh, it's still daylight, it's still time to be awake, and it won't allow you to get sleepy. And so when I started putting my phone in the bathroom, I fell asleep a lot quicker. I wasn't awake for long periods of time like I would be on my phone. And I get a better sleep than if I were to sit there and scroll on my phone while my husband sleeps. So putting it on the charger in the bathroom away, that has really helped me get better quality sleep. Now, I know some of you may be using your phones as an alarm clock. And I have in the past, but honestly, go out and buy an alarm clock. They're not very much money. All you need is a little clock that sits by your bed, plug in, and you can set your alarm for the morning. Or if you're like me, have a smartwatch, which also has an alarm on it, which is really cool. And it vibrates. And I just make sure mine is up on my wrist um, far enough that I can feel it vibrate because in the past, I have slept through it. Like on Monday morning when I did not feel my alarm goes off, go off because it just vibrates. Um, so you can do those two, one of those two things to help you, but I promise if you put your phone in a different room and you use an alarm clock or you use a smartwatch to wake up in the morning, you will sleep a lot better and deeper and you'll just feel overall rested. And that's one thing that I try to do. I try to do about 45 minutes before I go to bed so it lets my eyes rest. And after I get everything laid out in the morning, I will sit and I will read a book until 10, 15 or so is when I go to sleep. So I start this routine about 9.30. That's really helped me. It's really improved my routines, my daily habits. I mean, I also add in brushing my teeth, taking my contacts out, washing my face, all of that stuff. That's a given. Um, but that's just really helps me prepare for the mornings because like I said, I hate mornings. <laughs> And it just makes me more successful. So, um, I didn't have a, an evening routine for the longest time. I just started developing one and I have seen my habits grow from um, nothing to being something that I really enjoy doing and I really like that routine. So, if you have an evening, evening routine, I would love to hear about it and see how you do things, what you do. If you work outside the home and you take your lunches, you can make sure that you know lunches are made uh, ahead of time so you can just grab them in the morning. That's what I used to do as well. There's so many other different things that you can do to incorporate that matches your lifestyle. So play around with it. See how um, successful you are. See how much better sleep you get. And I would love to hear about it if you are starting to incorporate that in your evening. So I hope you have a great day. I will be sharing my cleaning routine tomorrow, so I hope that you will meet me back here at the same time. Talk to you later. Bye.